Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the smart glasses of the future. Now obviously, these are already partially torn down. Fully clothed, they look like this, and are called the Enreal Air. While I'm personally not much of a gamer, with Breath of the Wild 2 right around the corner, I am curious to see what it'll look like on a 200 inch display, which is what these are the equivalent of. And as you can see behind me, I am a fan of multiple displays. And Real sent a few of these over for me to try out, as well as take apart and give away to you guys. Huge thanks to Unreal for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. I've had these Nreal AR glasses for a couple weeks now, and while showing a 3D experience in a 2D space is fairly difficult, I'm gonna give it my best shot. At first glance, these glasses look normal, like larger Ray-Bans. But with two seconds of analysis, you can tell something else is going on. I do prefer the stealth aspect of these AR glasses. Prisms are set behind the lenses that redirect light from micro OLED panels above the frame. We'll see exactly how it works from the inside here in a second, but when viewing, it's pretty cool. When plugged into a phone, the Nebula app gives the Enreal Air glasses a three-dimensional workspace and the ability to have multiple windows open at once, all done through a USB-C connection in the back. More screen real estate equals more productivity, or at least that's what I tell myself. And a 3DOF head tracking system uses gyros in the glasses themselves that monitor the movements of your head and control where you're looking. This works great in the app and all, however, when you plug it into something else, for example, the Steam Deck, basically the Enreal Air glasses turn into a mirrored display, a large one, of course, and the large 15-foot vertical screen moves with your head, which is a bit discombobulating at first, but then you get used to it. If we move to try out Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch, we find out that the Switch does not have a digital output through the USB-C port, like the Steam Deck does. Instead, we have to plug in an HDMI adapter to the Switch dock, and then we're able to broadcast the Nintendo Switch in its full 130 inch glory through the glasses. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty legit. The screen is massive and does look way better in real life. Right now you're only seeing through one eyeball and through the lens of a smartphone camera instead of having the full immersion. There are included lens shades, which add a backdrop to the VR and make it even more visible in well-lit rooms. But I'm pretty pleased with it, especially given the current pricing, sitting right around $380 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I can see this being really useful while traveling or while someone else is using the main TV in the house and you still want to play the Switch on a big screen. But now that we have a taste of how it looks from the outside, let's see how it works from the inside from the metaverse into the Jerryverse. The glasses are extremely lightweight. At 79 grams, they have the smallest profile of any of the augmented reality systems I've seen so far. In order to reveal the inner workings, we first remove the interchangeable nose piece, three different sizes of which come included with the Enreal Air. Then we can pop off the upper plastics that surround the electronics. And this is where things start to look futuristic. The proximity sensor is sitting right over the nose bridge, on top of what looks like a machined aluminum core structure. Both arms of the glasses do contain electronics of their own, so I'll pop off the aesthetic chrome sleeves and the long plastic inside cover that protects the internal speaker and charging port on the left side. Same thing happens on the right side with another downward firing loudspeaker and dual microphones for noise canceling. The arms themselves can be removed, just a little hokey pokey to turn themselves around, and that's what it's all about. The arms have little springs on the end of them, since the glasses can expand for wider faces, as well it has three position gaze adjustment, since all human heads are different. Obviously I say this as an observer and not a collector. We can remove a few more screws to get a closer look at the loudspeaker, which sits right above the wearer's ears. It's nice to see some waterproof mesh over the speaker opening. Finally, we get to the meat of the virtual reality glasses. The metal skeleton is held to the frame with six screws with just the tiniest dab of caulking around the edges where the virtual reality glasses meet up with the reality glasses, probably to prevent dust from getting between the two layers. The frames honestly look pretty normal now that all the high-tech components have been removed. The VR prisms and corresponding metal skeleton are surprisingly lightweight. There's a thin ribbon of circuits that connect the USB-C port to the two individual displays above each eye. 
You might have noticed that there is no internal battery for the Unreal Air. It pulls power through the USB-C port from whatever it's streaming from, whether that be a phone, computer, Xbox, Steam Deck, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch. Things are always simple inside when a battery doesn't have to be included and the glasses don't require any additional charging. There are four more screws holding down each of the micro OLED panels, one above each eye. Each of the panels can display over 16 million colors, full high definition 1080p with a 60 hertz refresh rate, not to mention a cute little dollop of thermal paste which helps transfer heat from the panel into the metal frame of the glasses. Not too shabby. We have successfully taken the Unreal Air and disassembled it into the smallest micro OLED TV in existence. If we take it one step farther, we can pop that TV out from the redirection prisms to see what kind of magnification it takes to bring us from 1 inch to 200 inches. All in all, I think it's a pretty fascinating little unit, and I'm excited to see where the future is headed. I don't think these are quite ready to replace my desktop just yet but I do think it adds a very fun twist to gaming or watching movies, especially while traveling. A full-size TV that fits in your pocket is hard to beat. I'm looking forward to trying them out more when Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. Which brings us to the giveaway. And Real was kind enough to send over a few extra units. I only have two eyes of my own though, so I'm giving these away to you. All you have to do to enter is leave a comment right below this video, be subscribed to my channel, and I'll pick a few winners over the next few days and ship them out. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Let me know what game you would play with these. And as always, thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.